Indiana Knives doing some shopping. But Frankie, we're here. We're at the actual store. I know. It'll be fun to check it out inside, in person. Yeah, you guys, we've never actually been to the store. We've um, we've done various videos featuring Indiana Knives, but they are located here in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's about an hour south of us. And they have guns, too. Yeah, so for you uh, for you gun people, it's going to be a two-for-one visit. Sweet. But, yeah, we're anxious Always to good. check it out. Yep, those guys are on film. Probably don't want to be. <laughs> you walk out of the store and then there's filming. Um, okay, yeah, we'll check it out inside and see what's going on. Uh, Eric inside, he's the he's the guy. He knows we're coming. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, Frankie, let's get out there. Okay. Indiana Knives. Inside a gun store, which I got to be honest, kind of feels like a pawn store. And I'm saying that as a good thing. You could really spend some time in here. I wish this place was local to us. I guess it's semi-local. A lot of uniforms, some more knives. Huh, they got their own gunsmith here. That's awesome. And a display. Frankie, some Kershaw shuffles. One and two. Yes, look at those colors. All right, the fraction, that's an excellent knife. Oh yeah. Um, some of the new steel wheel piercers back there. Frankie, the Pilar. Pilar. Matrix that you don't like. What else we got? Steel wheels, lots of them. I really like this color. The Intrigue, the Modus, the Cut Jack. Yeah, that is a nice color. I like that a lot. Some fixed blades. Mm -hmm. All right, check this out. I was, go ahead and uh, deploy one of these. So this is what I, when I walked in, I said that's gotta be the cold steel of, of Opinels, but seriously. It's not. It's not. It's like the baby cold steel. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, all right. I didn't know those existed, but stay tuned. Okay, lots of open L's. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah. I like the colors. Swiss Army knives, whole set. That's kind of a neat little set. Yeah. And they got kitchen knives. I like that too. I know. I could probably leave with something like that. One of these sets. All right. Some Essies. Okay, um, the Zancudo, and I just heard, which one is the name? I forget. A Vespa. A Vespa. Right. It sounds like a car. Which one was the custom here? Um, the green one. So they got a gunsmith back here, and he does some custom work. Cerakote. And it ends up making its way to some of the knives. That's awesome. And this should be a production model. Yeah, check out this one. A yellow modus. A yellow modus. You guys no, yellow that? cut jack. Why cut do I jack. get those confused? Because they're practically the same thing. Yeah, they are. The difference is the choil. That's true. Choil or no yeah. choil. There you go. I'll That's always the question. Some more as though. Everybody's got to have them. So the cold steel of Open L's, Frankie. Check this thing out. This one? I mean, it's huge. It's kind of ridiculous. Or did you mean this one? There we go. I didn't this know that one. This one's so cute. I didn't know about this one either. Eric, what do you sell these ones for? I think they're 10 bucks. Another it's one really right cute. there. I might have to get one of those. I know. Yeah. All you right. would lose this though. Yeah. She says I would. All right. <laughs> I'd forget where it's at. Apparently this is a production piece right here. I didn't know anything about it. I guarantee a lot of you didn't know anything about it. <laughs> this is just... Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. God. Frankie. Of course. You don't know your open else. No, I don't. Look at this thing. I can hardly get it in the whole shot. Look at that thing. It's sweet. The, how much do these sell for? I think they're 110. 110. For the Open L so Espada XL, pretty much. <laughs> That's crazy though. I've never seen one of those. You can decapitate people too. No kidding, yeah, guillotine. That's pretty awesome. Alright, check out the swivel case, Frankie. I know, we need one one for home. We were just talking to Eric about this one. I kind of want to leave with this thing. <laughs> just the case itself. I don't think he's going to let us leave with it though. No, probably not. I wouldn't. <laughs> but check it out. He's got some of the ZTs in there. There's a 770. I don't have it in gray. Yeah, I have the green, the carbon fiber. Those two. Yep. Yeah. We have these guys too. De-assisted. Yes. Yep. What else do we have? Tiger Stripe. We, uh, or we, we got the Felix. What we yes. call the Felix, right? And then the Felix. Serrated. Semi-serrated. Yeah, if that one comes up, I'd get it. Yeah. Nice case, though. So this case here, Eric, 
I, I would say scored a nice score. Uh, where'd you get this at? I got that out of a Gander Mountain that went out of business. Okay, Gander Mountains, you guys know, went out of business not too long ago. What did they change to? They did change it to something, but <laughs> you got this case for a good deal or free or what's the... Uh, I got it for a case of beer. <laughs> for a case of beer. You guys, nice. we need stuff like this. We don't... We need we glass need cases. Yeah. All right. Let's check it in the living room. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't be opposed to it. All right. There's this ET. Frankie got me one of those for my birthday. Yeah, and you sold it immediately. It. Not immediately. You hated my present that I gave you. Yeah. No. I forget the model on that, that one. Why, why don't I remember? Zero five nine five. Nine five. Some of the ZTs. It's got a really good selection of ZTs and Kershaws in this place. If you guys, of course, see anything you like, check out the website. The 609, we didn't hold on to it. No, I got rid of it. We're I looking. liked it, but I got rid of it. Yeah, we liked, uh, we're looking at the 470, 4, 460, and 462. Is that correct? Yeah, the yeah. bigger single inch. All right. You really can't go wrong with the 450. 450. Get one. It's a excellent seller, and I'm hearing the price just went up. So get one while you can. <laughs> get one while they're more expensive. Like cheaper if they still are. Oh, if they still are, yeah. Some more steel wheels. Spider Co's. All right, there's an Emerson uh, Delica. You don't see too many of those. Yeah, well, and there's an Emerson Dragonfly prototype right now, too. I feel, like, that? I feel like people are always asking us about the Spidey Chef. There, uh -huh. There's one. Yeah, somebody, I think that they're back available right somebody now. Somebody buy that. Some fixed blades. Frankie was all up into this one. <laughs> I was petting the pelt. Comes with an aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Authentic yeah. deer. Cute. All right. Another glass display. These went out in the open for anybody to grab. Some knockouts. Mini sheepdog in blue. Yeah, that's the only one he's got left. He had labels for more. All, all right, Frankie. Metamorphs. Eric's got the selection of the metamorphs, doesn't he? I know. I like this green too. There it's was. It's not that other green. This is like, I think this is the racing green. Racing, British racing green. Yeah. There you go. So with the Metamorph, Eric was talking about doing a G10 exclusive for Indiana Knives. What do you guys think about that? Because the aluminum, as nice as, as it is, it's kind of slick and it maybe doesn't. It is kind of slick, yeah. Yeah, you want possibly a little bit more grip with that particular knife. So I'm thinking it's a good idea. I think the big question is what color? How would you guys want them? Let's slide green. over a little bit. 2019 is the year of the green. Steel wheel fixed blades. Here, let me scoot right here. I've bonded with this one, the 671. Can you see? I don't know why. He's just really cute. What is this? 671. Rake. And he's a reach around too. Does it, uh. No, it's the. No, it's hey, I don't want to drop it. I've got a history of dropping front flippers the first time I go on them. All right, he's got a good selection of the rake knives. You can find all these online as well. I think you can find all this stuff on his website. Oh, that is really light. Yeah. I forget the model on it. What is it? Oh, 865. Let me show this. So the 865, Eric had given one of these in a past uh, giveaway that we did on the channel. He was doing a fundraiser. And this probably was my favorite as well. Mm -hmm. I liked it. What about him? He's cool looking. The 155B. 55B, what's the price on that one? Um, $49.95. Huh. There you go. Trying to do Get a shot of all these so you guys can see them. See them in real life and then you can order them online. Um, is it the Fang, Frankie? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was a good, I think that was the first <laughs> rake knife that we did. It was, yeah. I want to say 2017. <laughs> yeah, there's some good models. All right, what do we got? Kala. Oh, Kaiser? Yeah. yeah. And then he's got the home front. That was the original field strip. Yes, it was. Um, they're starting to do a lot more of those, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I saw a bunch of them. I think we're going to see the prequel here real soon. Yes. All right. We're going to do a video in the near future. So this is one of the original Wii Knives budget models. Yeah. Which are very nice. Okay. But did Civivis make these kind of obsolete? Mm -hmm. What's kind the price of. on this one? $89.99. And they are real nice. I mean, we did a video on this exact knife. I think it was in black, but yeah. Sabibis came out and they're about half the price and you're getting about the same. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
Good knife though, great knife. I'd still buy it, I'd still pay that price. Yeah. Random fixed blade, oh and then he does his sharpening, Eric does on the Wicked Edge. Which he does an okay, He's okay, okay sharpening. He's okay at it. No, <laughs> we're just kidding. We're just kidding. He obviously, just mean. he knows what he's doing. <laughs> There's yeah, apparently so. a whole world of open L's that I've just not been exposed to. Yeah. All right. Get, oh, a, okay. get a Frankie out of the way. Hey, don't push me out of the way. Jeez. She's checking out her favorite Browse Blades. Oh, of course. Everybody loves Jason Browse Blades. Oh, man. There's no sarcasm there. No. All right. He's got a good selection of Kaisers and Wee Knives. Um, I'm hoping he's got... Zoom in on the bee hole back there. Oh, no. <laughs> I had to for you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. All right. Now we're looking at the Kaisers here. Some Wee's. Great selection. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a highlight for everybody right here, the Norseman. Uh-huh. Grimsmo. So, price on this one, Eric? I paid the Grimsmo Brothers nine seventy five for that one. Okay, he was on the list for that one, so yeah. It is pretty. They're nice. The action is uh, very unique to that knife, to that brand. Some of the launch series. There's your launch four. There's another Metamorph. Okay, it is the four. Yeah. yeah. This is my favorite, probably so far in the launch series. And let's scoot over here. Some Protex. There you go. Godfather, Godson. Yeah, they're good stuff. That's good stuff. Godchild. I've just been out of the, out of the auto knives lately. We're in a very auto, well, I would say a knife friendly state. Pretty much anything goes. Mm -hmm. It's throwing knives though. You can't have throwing knives and throwing stars. No throwing knives. Throwing knives, but never throwing stars. <laughs> oh no, ballistic, ballistic, ballistic knives, knives and we can't have. throwing stars. And throwing stars. That's it. Taking a look at a few of the standouts, at least for us anyway. All right, this is the new We Knives Deacon. Yes. Frankie, you can. It's awesome. We got two of them here to look at. Yeah, I'll open both of them. I'm wanting to show them though. If what, you can open it. Here we go. Check this out, guys. I know that our friend Pip Corona just bought one of these. Oh, um, Pip. I can tell you, man, you're gonna like it. These oh, are awesome. Yeah, it is. It's so smooth. What's Look your What's your price on these? On the Deacons, those are two fifty three. Two fifty three, and it's we might might need a couple the, of them. I know it's it's gonna be the price that you're gonna see anywhere. It's probably one of the first wee knives that I really really like in a, a while. It's it's a little smaller. Yeah, it is. It feels really nice. I'm guessing maybe about a three point two five inch blade somewhere in there. Just a total guess. Let's measure. Yeah, probably yeah. about that. You got that? Okay. Yeah. Let me see the, the blue one though. They need to see this. These things are beautiful. And that transition. What this, transition? Yeah, there's no transition. Yeah. Fit and finish on these things. Amazing. Wow. We might have to get one of those. Okay. And it's almost Valentine's Day. Yeah. So you should get one of these little pink ones. Look how pretty that is. All right. The Rye Hummingbird. This action is way better than mine. He's got actually a few boxes of these over there. Mm -hmm. They're kind of all over the place. He's got a few in stock, different colors. Actually, there's one right there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it first try. Big hands. There you go. These things are awesome. <laughs> um, They're so, so cute. Eric was just telling us that somebody bought this for as a lanyard bead for what? One of his cold steel. Cold steel four max. For a cold steel four max. That's the lanyard bead. It's <laughs> an expensive lanyard bead, but I guess I like they it. are some I really like it. ones. Oh, show this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. First of all, Indiana Knives on this one. This is a Protec. Magic. This, the owner's EDC. Yeah. Where's See, the button? It on was this? magic. It was. That's why. Let's show the let's show the lack of button and the, what what you're doing here. It was it's it's you push back here. That's the pivot. I know. That's mm -hmm. what I looked at first. Yep. That's how you do it. But check it out. How do you open this knife? I went to open it like a slip joint at first. Well, show them what you're doing, though. I'm just doing this. See? You, you slide the frame it. up. I like it. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it's really That's neat. unique. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually just a back lock design, so it's pretty simple once you, okay. oh. once you take it apart. Huh. All right. It is really cool. I've not handled a lot of that style. Yeah, yeah, I like that. What else we got here? Oh, this particular Kaiser. We were saying it looked like the sea lion, but this is actually... The Envoy. The Envoy. I had never handled this one. It's nice. Yeah. Cute little guy. And then, of course, Spidey Chef. I swear people are asking about us about the Spidey Chef, but they are available. Yes. Well, they were There's just like re-available again. 
<laughs> Reavailable? Yes. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I would say pick one up while they're still in production. Yeah. Don't wait. And then okay. say you want one. Um, you should have bought one. They won't be around forever. What's it? The Bowie, the Sleesh yes. Bowie. Yeah, that one's gone now, and everybody uh -huh. wants it. It will yep. happen to this knife. It will. Um, now, what was with these? This is a Thai version of one of the hinders. Is it chunky? It chunky is manual beast. though, and the action's good. And this is back in the time when we joked about ZT making better flippers <laughs> than hinder than hinder themselves. <laughs> it's well, the action's it's great. True. Yeah. No, hinders have gotten way better. Way no, better. the newest ones, yeah, yeah definitely. What do you got there? Look oh, at this really check cool this one. Out. That's the box it comes with. This is the box here. I'll set it on top there. Yes. Go ahead and open it. Limited edition. Look at that. What What is the model on this one? That's uh, the Ruby. anniversary Ruby. Ruby, okay. I'm not familiar with this one. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's titanium handles and then it's ZDP 189. It's a blade steel. Okay, 2014. Let me, let's show them, Frankie. Okay, go ahead. Oh, well, close up anyway. Yeah, 2014, 40 year anniversary. Look, he has a birth of authenticity. Nice. Or she, I bet it would be she because it's Ruby. I don't know. Oh, right? Ruby, yeah, of yeah, course, okay. It'd have to be she. It kind of reminds me of a, well, a ZT, really. ZT on one side and then Kershaw on the that other guy side. There. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, the only thing I'm not crazy about, how many standoffs do you need? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's Ruby, it has to have Ruby yeah, in we'll it. Here. Oh, the Norseman. Let's show okay. them that. Show it up close. I believe we looked at it briefly. Am I going up glass. close? You're, you're <laughs> up close. Yeah. These really do have such a unique action. Yeah, they do. I would like to own one. They're just, the price right now is just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'd like to pay half of that. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> I would too. Maybe up to six or seven. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's what sometimes they They're go They're just for. a little crazy right now, but they are amazing. The Ursa Minor. Wow. Okay, here. Wow. What do you got? Okay. Ursa Minor. Oh, Ray yeah. Laconico. Laconico designs we were discussing. We like pretty much all his stuff. Well, and what I was saying too is that you, if you have not followed him on Instagram, you have to. Him and his dogs. Mandatory. He the, has such a cool crew of dogs. We actually just got a Gemini finally after all these years, but uh -huh. the one we're really waiting on is the Yorkie. Yorkie. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. In one of the back rooms here, they've got some fixed blades. Check it out. Some really old stuff. You guys out there could probably tell us more about these yeah. than, than we know. There's some jungle, kukri, Frankie, parang, kukri? parang style? Kukris, not parangs. All right. I don't know. I like the squiggle. Is like, she correct? The squiggle sword. That's what I'm going to call that one. Yeah. Sorry guys, we don't know anything about these ones. <laughs> and the typical type of knives you would see in a gun store? I kind of want a Swamp Lizard though. Okay. Oops. Tack Force. Tack Force, yeah, yeah, awesome. okay. Awesome. I'm talking... Oh, there's some cool fixed plates here though. Yeah, these ones aren't too bad. I was gonna say. I swear I went Eric camping. keeps his stuff over there. I went camping a ton with a hatchet that looked just like that. This stuff can't fraternize with uh, Eric's knives. The good stuff. He's too good for this. Oh yeah, here's some. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Walking up to this case here, except there's no glass. Frankie, I want that. Okay, get it then. At first you can glance. You that instead of the Desert Eagle. Please do that. I was going to say, at, at first glance, I thought PS90, it's an FS2000, yes. which is 5.56. Five, That's awesome. Much cheaper. Check out this setup. We need this in our backyard. Yes. We were just telling these guys we need to move down to Bloomington. So, <laughs> lever action. 22 suppressed. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> After all that, we only leave with one knife. You've wanted that thing forever, though. I have. Any guesses? All right. A lot of you <laughs> probably will. Yeah. Indiana Knives inside the gun store. <laughs> um, I'll put the name of the gun store here. Uh, nice place. Like I said, it kind of feels like a pawn shop, and it's awesome in there. Um, I can tell they have a good time. Yeah. It'd be fun <laughs> to work in there. It really would. Yeah. 
But Indiana knives, um, if you can get to them, uh, make the trip, it's worth it. If not, he does a lot of his business online. Yep, online and ships anywhere for free. We'll put the link in, make it easy for you, Indiana Knives and he uh, has website. great reviews and everybody has really good luck with them. Yeah, post your feedback. I've just seen nothing but uh, positive, so yeah. All right, thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.